Hey Baking Monsters, time to put some serious zest into your life. It's Baking Mad Monday and I got a great treat for you. It's my favorite key lime pie, inspired by Key West in Florida. Don't forget to subscribe, leave some comments and plenty of thumbs up. And let me know as well what you want me to bake next. Go Baking Mad! Weigh out 350 grams of digestive biscuit and zap them into a food processor. To this beautiful buttery crumbs, I'm just gonna add 125 grams of melted unsalted butter. Mix the butter and the crumbs together. I'm just gonna pour the whole mixture inside. So now I'm gonna push down the crumbs like you do for a regular cheesecake. Bake in a preheated oven at 160 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. So while the base is um, baking away, I'm gonna make the mixture inside, and that's a very quick one. Separate four eggs and beat the egg yolk until they're light and fluffy. Pour in 400 ml of full fat condensed milk, and now, time to bring the lime. Zest, then juice, four limes. And it's something so refreshing about the smell of uh, fresh lime. And before we move on to the next step, our base must be ready now. So I'm just gonna leave it aside. So the next step to make our key lime pie nice and fluffy and very light, I'm gonna whisk the egg white. Add 50 grams of golden caster sugar to the egg white and whip until stiff. I'm gonna grab a good dollop of the egg white and I'm gonna mix that inside the lime mixtures just to loose it up. And I'm just gonna pour all of that on top of my egg white. I'm just gonna fold the two mixture together. It's almost like a, like a mousse, you could almost like eat it if you wanted to. But we are gonna bake it. So time to bring back our biscuit base and I'm gonna fill it with the mixture. And at this stage, you don't have to wait for the base to cool down because we're gonna put it back in the oven anyways. Bake in a preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it's set with a lightly brown around the edges. The cake will finish cooking as it cools. So our pie's been in the oven now for 25 minutes and it's starting to puff up on the top. So I'm just gonna leave that to cool down on the cooling rack. So the pie is completely cooled down now. And you will notice as the pie cooled down, some little crack will form on the top and that's absolutely normal. It's part of the charm of the recipe. Lightly dust the pie with icing sugar. Decorate with slices of lime and spring of fresh mint. And there you have it, a true kilam pie. So here we are, a proper ray of sunshine straight from Florida to your table. I hope you love that recipe. Remember, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friend if they love baking, and I will see you next week for another Baking Mad Monday. Keep sweet, Lot of love, Eric.